This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. For a long time, I have been sounding the alarm about the rise of Christian nationalism. And since the reversal of Roe v. Wade, we have seen several steps, even the language in in the opinion, the majority opinion of uh, the reversal of Roe v. Wade, talked about a pathway, kind of a roadmap to reversing the decision for marriage equality, for possibly even making contraception illegal in the United States, or leaving it to the states to decide whether or not they keep birth control legal. We're talking about dystopian type of things. It is a dystopian decision in and of itself that Roe v. Wade was overturned, without a doubt. And Christian nationalism is the lead cause of this. And because of the overturning of Roe v. Wade, Christian nationalism is now at the forefront of every Republican tongue. It's no longer something that was, it was a quiet thing. It was almost an embarrassing notion to be called a Christian nationalist. No longer. It is now permeating every political decision or the vast majority of political decisions and policy proposals by Republicans. Mike Flynn, while a fringe figure in Trump in, 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 in Republican politics, a mainstream figure in, in Trump world, um, was on with a, one of these goofball YouTube Christian nationalist prophet weirdos. And this is alarming, what this, this video I'm getting ready to show you, because when you join the military, I, I talk about this a lot, I was in the Marine Corps, You raise your right hand and you swear to protect and defend the Constitution of these United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. So uh, I extrapolate this out because it always bothered me when I was a Marine, just a young enlisted Marine, that people didn't know anything about the Constitution. A lot of time, even Amy Coney Barrett was stumped by which protections are, 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 are there within the First Amendment. Redress and free speech and um, religion and the press. It, she, she was oh stumped. Supreme Court, conservative, Christian nationalist, um, Supreme Court justice. So when a general, retired lieutenant general, is saying things that the Bible created the Constitution, it should send alarm bells off in your head, or at least set them off, send them off. I don't know what that means. (laughs) Watch this video of Michael Flynn. And I don't know if he's playing a character now, or if he is really this unhinged to put these ideas forward, because QAnon world, they're, they're eating this up. They are inflamed, their passions are inflamed. People who are politically uneducated, low information audience who believe whatever conspiracy theory is fed them. And it's being fed to them by people like disgraced liar, Mr. Plead the Fifth, dozens of times, Mike Flynn. Watch this remarkable bit of video and we'll talk about it on the other side. About 75 to 80 percent of the Constitution is is created, and I and I use that word specifically, is created by uh, the Bible itself, Declaration of Independence yeah. and the uh, and the Bill of Rights, right? I mean, the Ten Bill of Rights, like I say, the the uh, the, the Bill of Rights and the Ten Commandments, right? The Bill of That's Rights good. and the Ten Commandments are the promises that we make to each other. When you really dig in and you and you list and you read the ten, the uh, the Bill of Rights and you list and read the Ten Commandments, those are promises that we make, and then the fulfillment of those promises, you know, are the Constitution and the and the Bible. That's how we get fulfillment of those promises. That's so good. I I, I kind of have learned that I guess in the last uh, 
you know, in, in, in probably the last few years, and I think partially because the more that I have studied our nation and what's happening uh, right now, what I have what I have come to the realization of is that we in, we in fact were created by uh, this you know the Creator, right? I mean, it's mentioned in the uh, God, you know it's mentioned it's mentioned in the Declaration of Independence, right? Yeah. Um, so oh yeah, it is. Very yeah, clearly. big time, big time. What does does Michael Flynn believe that because there are ten amendments, the Bill of Rights, the first ten amendments to the Constitution, that because there's ten of them, and there's ten commandments, that there's some connection? Because when you go down the line, several of the ten commandments are about God. They're about uh, holding no other, having no other gods before him and love, love your, I mean, it just like where the third amendment to the constitution, the third amendment is about quartering troops that you'll never have to, um, put troops up in your home. If there's a war, where, where's that correlate in the 10 commandments? Huh? States rights that if a power is not specifically granted to the federal government or specifically not granted to the states, it's for the states to have and to possess. Where is that one in the Ten Commandments? I mean, you got thou shalt not lie and kill, steal, bear and false witness. Yeah. But this is an effort to further dumb down the American electorate to further envelop these QAnon ding-dongs. Dipshits like Michael Flynn are actively trying to damage America, are trying to weave Christian nationalism into their political rhetoric. We, the Constitution is in no way was created by the Bible. We have prohibitions, protections against the uh, against the 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 intertwining of religion and the state. Even Thomas Jefferson wrote to the Baptist, the Danbury Baptists, and said this in a letter. I, the same person who wrote the Declaration of Independence that they, they claim to revere. Oh, it says we're created. It says we're endowed by our creator with certain unalienable rights. The, the line about the life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I, I, this is dangerous. And not because it's just being said, but because Michael Flynn has a following. The same man, the same man who advocated for a Myanmar style coup, who wanted Donald Trump desperately to declare martial law to retain power. He is anti American. He is anti democratic. He is dangerous. And it needs to be talked about. Share this video with someone in your life if they're a QAnon ding dong and they follow the dipshit. Michael Flynn, the disgraced moron, Michael Flynn, who has the temerity to put forward these ideas with a Christian prophet. Gross. What do you think? I'd love to know. We can talk about it in the comments. You can call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. You can email me daily at dollamore.com. I would love to hear from you. Follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore on Twitter, at Dollamore on TikTok, and on Instagram. And if I do something for you that you appreciate, please consider supporting my work. You can become a channel member right here on YouTube. Click the join button for a buck 99 a month, just pennies a day. You can help produce what I do right here. Or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Anyway, I love you guys. I appreciate you. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.